everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinger and I am playing some more Xenosaga. And this time I have tea. Like usual. No, it's not milk, it's actually peaches and cream. Because I like tea too much. Also, sorry if you can't really see my eyes, I'm growing out my bangs. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, ju it's just a thing that's gonna be happening. I'm gonna have to like look up more often so you can see my eyes. Cause just looking at the screen, y'all can't see him. <laughs> it's be like every creepy anime girl ever just looking at these eyes <laughs> from underneath my bangs. <laughs> uh, monsters just to murder. So we're getting toward the end game. This is like the second to last area. Um, you have the area of Old Milsha, then you have the area of Labyrinthos. Technically, there's a third area, but that one doesn't really count. Because it's an area where you can't die. <laughs> I think there's... I think there's a boss fight fairly quickly in this area. Because I, re I remember there being one boss fight before Labyrinthos. And a couple in Labyrinthos. I don't have to destroy any of these, but I am anyway. Hi! I do have to say, even though it was an, it's an old PlayStation game, this game, like, look at this! This is really pretty scenery for the technology they had at the time. I can't remember when this game came out in the PS2's life cycle. Um, if you guys know, leave a comment. But, I mean, it still looks really good for how old it is. Like the particle effects on the water and ice and stuff. The fuck are all these little things? Murder and murder death kill? Murder death kill. Hey look, a wall! Blow it up. <laughs> because the game is like, oh, you want to go right, right? But then there is this giant wall here. So obviously, there's a thing against it. Like I say, I've said this in other Let's Plays before. Always go left. If you ever, in a video game, if you ever come to a fork in the road, or like, you have a right, or you have a left, the game, the uh, way onwards in the story is pretty much always right, and the way to like secrets and loot is almost always left. Look it up. It's a thing. Um, it's because like, there's a, there's a right-handed bias just in the world in general. And so I guess it's just common in video games for them to have the way onwards, or the way you're supposed to go, being the right. Um, and so they're like, okay, well, we need to put some extra stuff in, so we'll just put it to the left of this little fork. So I always go left. <laughs> this is a really weird... Just got distracted by my spoon. <laughs> And trust me, for those of you who don't know, I am a lefty. Oh, I guess I have to hit a button. I am a lefty. I am well aware of the of the bias against my kind. Oh wait, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> it's I thought I killed everything, but there's the little the little spinny flowery dudes. Boop boop boop. Oh, hey, look, more things to blow up. That is one thing that they never explained. So, I mean, it's sort of spoilers for the third game, but you do come across Milsha before it was destroyed. You know what Milsha looked like before it was destroyed, right? From the third game. This game makes it look like the entirety of the planet of Milsha is submerged. It is so not submerged in the third game. When you see it before all of the shenanigans. What? Okay. So it's just kind of like... Really? <sighs> 
Like, they completely redesigned the planet between games two and three, because this makes it look like the entire place should be full of water. And it's not, it's all forested and mountained and shit. <sighs> I'm not tired, shut up! <laughs> that a fucking Gnosis? That looks like a fucking Gnosis! Are you a fucking Gnosis? <laughs> I didn't think we'd hit Gnosis until Labrintos. No, no, it's not. Okay, cool. <laughs> you can say, wait, what? <laughs> you just absorbed my fucking damage, didn't you? For that, you get murdered. Oh, Jesus Christ, it has 15k health. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Desperate times to- Desperate times call for desperate measures. Mm, so nothing beam. That- that was beam. Okay, cool. No, wait, no, that wasn't beam, that was aura. I keep getting aura and beam mixed up. Yes? Murder? No? Okay. <laughs> no, wait, shit, I missed you down! <laughs> oh, I'm bad at this. It's okay, it's dead. I don't know why I thought it was a Gnosis. Maybe it was the part that's supposed to be metal it was all flowy. As if it was flesh. Because, you know, metal totally bends like flesh does. Boop. Boop. Hey, looks like boy. Guess this means I need to compulsively save. Goodbye. Okay, I should heal. <laughs> okay, never mind. I forgot. This, this has got a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy X syndrome going on. Hey, look! Yoink. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, doesn't that make here. For me to go to an obvious boss fight. Because there is a save point. There is always boss fights after save points. We know how this game goes. Alright. What's it gonna be? Oh, hey! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I guess we do have a little bit more to go. I thought we were gonna hit a save point. No, I thought I want it! But I want it! Have you game? Not letting you get to the things. How rude. Oh, jeez. That is also rude. <laughs> hey, look! I got to the other side. <laughs> is there anything fun in here? Let's enter the key and confirm the code. What? Oh, I'm gonna have to go look at the Milsha um, uh, EV, EVS plate, aren't I, for this? <laughs> it's like, you need to get the code! And it's probably codes there and I come back here or something. Because this is obviously the area from the beginning of the game. When we were playing as Jin and Chaos. And I guess Kanan. <laughs> Hi! So I guess that there were two freaking save points. I forgot! Let me through. Son of a monkey's uncle. <laughs> Let me guess, there's gonna be a monster up here that I have to kill to get past. And before I have to kill a monster. No? Okay. Okay. I knocked the things over. 
Oh, right, I have to probably blow them up to blow up everything else. Because blowing things up in your life is um, the true way to happiness. Just uh, screw everything, blow it up. And that somehow makes a place for water to go so I can get past. Okay, game. See, by waterfall logic, it could have just waited for the water to run out. In fact, that's not at sea level. The water should have run out already in the last, oh, I don't know, decade or so since this calamity happened, or 14 years, I think it was? I, can't, I don't even know that. That's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna have a fight. Right? Now? Or am I just complete? Nope, there we go. There, there's- that looks like a fight. That looks like a fight. I'm just gonna go by. Okay, no, we can- but- but we can just go. But the- but- oh wait, I should point this- but there's a path. But, but there's a path. Why is this damn thing not working? <laughs> External speakers? We have mobilized all units. But we're all exhausted from training earlier. May I? Oh, line up, maggots! Did you say it's you the guy. get your training? It's the you guy know from how the... bad you made me look. Listen from the to beginning. Me. What you think means nothing. What you want means nothing. You do as I say. I am the boot in your buttocks. You. What is your problem? You it's the guy from the beginning of the first game. I slapped you on the wrong end when you squirted out. Why are you laughing? You are you, you. <laughs> Yes. I'm tired of all you panty waist nitwits. You <laughs> make me your physically space. ill. Drop and give me a million. <laughs> I will break you. Okay, you Arlie. Stand on deck. Stand by. What did you say? Damn it. Found us. Well, you did just stop to listen. And again. All hands, prepare for battle. Target the vector aim. They're, but they're not aims. They're not aims and they're this not aims. They're got. ESs. Also, you know, we could just not fight these guys. There's nothing preventing us from just running down the road. <laughs> I guess it's this way. It's the All damage reduced. Jerk. Is, is redirected to other areas during the event slot. Okay. So I'll use my big events uh, or big attacks on a critical event slot. Why <laughs> tickles? Well, this thing only has 131 HP left, I think I can murder it. <laughs> so this thing is glory field and I can can in charge of 50 people. What? You motherfucker! <laughs> I hate it when video games do this. It's like, oh, by the way, we're actually at 6,000, cuz fuck you. I killed you. I killed you. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's about to do something that's gonna get me in the ass? It's okay. <sighs> Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> so I did in fact kill it, it just wanted to give me one last fuck you attack. <laughs> cool. I mean, they're not dead, they're just chilling in there. Cause I just destroyed the cannon. Ha, and they can't do shit to me. <laughs> they're just trapped in there. They're trapped on Milsha now. Oh god, they're going to starve to death at some point. Or get caught by the Federation. Probably get caught by the Federation. <sighs> or they'll have to learn how to fish. <laughs> hey, look, it's Labrinthos. Look, it's the Labrinthos Tower. Yeah, we're pretty close now. Better get ready. But it doesn't look like we'll be able to go in there in our ESs. Let's look for another entrance. There should be a small gap somewhere. 
Don't you love my ability to just completely switch voices in a moment's notice? You get that from doing so many Final Fantasy games. Boop, 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 and boop. What's this? Gimme! Thank you! XB, yes, yes! I think we're getting pretty close to Labyrinthos. <sighs> oh, I can't actually remember how much more, like how long in terms of space uh, this game is at this point. Because I only remember Labyrinthos. And of course I do remember the thing that happens at the end, but again you can't die during that fight, so... If I had to guess, I'd say... Four? Four more episodes. Possibly five. I mean, and that is including this one. Which means, thankfully, I'll finally be done with this game. And I can go towards getting, you know, all the other games I still need to finish done. Yoink! Uh, I don't know if I go that way yet. And I don't know shit. Nope. <laughs> I guess I gotta go that way. So I don't know if it's a function of the emulator, but the weird uh, light glitching on the, I guess it's the right side and the bottom of the screen. I actually kind of like it, even though there's this weird gap at the bottom of the screen of it. But hi! Stupid monsters getting in the way all the damn time. <laughs> With her on our side, we can't lose. I hope she's- he's talking about, you know, swimsuit Cosmos that I've got going on. Swimsuit Cosmos, best Cosmos. And the reason is you get extra skill points if you wear the swimsuits, cause exploitation. Hey look, a button! Press it! Boop! I don't think we need to just stand here and watch this happen, we can just go. See again, I absolutely adore this franchise, but sometimes the sheer size of the dungeons with having like nothing in them. It's kind of infuriating, because then it takes so long to walk from point A to point B. But uh, it's I mean, it's so it's so delightful in other ways that it makes up for it. It does mean that I have to cut a lot out when I'm playing it for a let's play though. I'm not tired, shut up, it's not. 10 at night. <laughs> oh, great. A puzzle. I guess I have to get it down enough that I can use that. By pushing buttons. Oh, I have to get it so it evens out. What happens if I hit this? So that drains it up to six from where it was. So then if I should drain this, it'll drain into this side. Which will take it back one higher than it was. And I push this again. And I should bring it all the way up to four. And if I do this twice, it should bring both of them to zero. Fuck yeah, I got that on the first try. <laughs> that was not a difficult puzzle. Granted, I'm just good at math. Also, what the hell is in this water? It's purple. Water is not meant to be purple. In fact, purple water in video games usually means it's poison. And so I guess that means the only person in the entire party who could probably go into that water would be Cosmos. Because she's a robot. And therefore cannot be poisoned. Which, by the way, there is a, um... There is a tabletop game. Uh, it was a fan version of the old anima tabletop game. 
instead of being anima beyond fantasy, it was anima beyond science. This is going somewhere. Um, and it was a sci-fi version of the tabletop game. Sort of like how you can get sci-fi versions of D&D for playing. But they had, an, in one of the versions, they had an android race that you could play as. They didn't have immunity to biological stuff. Like, they could still suffocate. They could still be poisoned. Like, there's nothing that says they could be suffocated or poisoned. When they're androids. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Like, androids and robots in tabletop games should just naturally be immune to things like suffocation. Why are you doing this? Reasons! Oh, the music stops. <laughs> Cutscene. What? That's odd. You don't say! This place somehow feels different than the others. Maybe it's the giant thing on the wall. You're right. It almost looks like there are people still working here recently. Nanomachines gone out of control. Oh shit. I have heard of nanomachines making rooms and passageways on their own. No. No, it doesn't feel like that. This is more like. Oh, shut up, Like Shion. some sort of consciousness is at work here. Okay. <laughs> it's Udu. Ooh, its presence dude. has spread this what? far out. I will never forget appear. the Udu thing. Our destination is right in front of us. Yeah, there's no more time to lose. So set it on fire. I mean, Cosmos can literally summon cannons into her arms. No? Nice of this game to have a cut a room specifically for cutscenes. Sup? Okay. Get it! Get it again, Cosmos! So we are pretty much setting things on Ooh, segment address. Pretty much setting things on fire. Also, this place is called Labyrinthos. So it's going to be awful with the maze-like qualities, I can already tell. Get him! Get him again! Boom! Hi! Rip! Rip! <laughs> it's not often you can actually dodge things. Oh shit! <laughs> I deserve that. Why are you doing this? Nope! I am falling for your shit game. I'll just go this way. And I believe the segment address is down here. Oh shit, hi. Let me down! Hey, look, a door! Can I have a save point, please, so I can end the episode? Oh, hey! <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. I guess I'll do all these first. Nothing here. Okay, cool. Labyrinthos. So I know that Labyrinthos has a courtyard, but we decided to enter in through the underground area for some reason. At least Labyrinthos has a courtyard in the third game. But that is going to be it for this episode, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Teenager, and I've been playing some Xenoswalk episode 2. I'll see you all in the next video.